The war in Libya has taken a dramatic turn as rival air forces, newly reinforced by allies overseas, duel over its skies. Because of the country's flat terrain, air power has been decisive in changing the fortunes of each side in turn, in particular with the use of armed drones. The warlord Khalifa Haftar's forces first used Chinese-made Wing Lung II armed drones four years ago first in Derna, and then to pressurise the UN-recognised Government of National Accord, or GNA, forcing it to retreat to a tight pocket round the capital, Tripoli. With a range of 1,500 kilometres, these have been able to operate out of bases in the east, striking government targets in the west. Heavily armed, and able to loiter over targets feeding back vital information to their headquarters, the Wing Lungs helped forces loyal to Khalifa Haftar advance and besiege the beleaguered GNA in Tripoli, often inflicting indiscriminate damage. But Turkey's extensive military aid to the UN-backed government earlier this year changed all that, as the GNA started to receive Turkish armed drones, namely the Barakhtar TB2. These drones, with their limited range, while not as capable as the Wing Lungs, still gave the GNA the ability to strike Haftar's forces, interrupt his supply lines and protect its own units as they advanced, catching their enemies by surprise as Tripoli's troops counterattacked. In recent days, government forces have rapidly retaken several coastal towns and the all-important airbase at al Watir which was retaken after several assaults and the destruction of the Russian-made Panzer Air Defence Units in the area. It's just been a huge uh, kind of rush of blood uh, to the head, really, for, um, for, for Haftar. I mean, you know, he's lost, and effectively, in the last maybe six or seven days, he's lost what almost took him six years uh, to achieve. So that's, um, you know, it's no small feat what uh, Turkish uh, uh, air assistance has given uh, the GNA on the ground in terms of territory. Haftar's forces have been driven back and their stranglehold in Tripoli has loosened. But in an ominous turn, the US military has confirmed Russian jets have flown from Russia's base in Syria to Jufra Air Base in Libya, a Haftar center of air operations. Satellite images issued by US command in Africa clearly show Russian fighter aircraft on the runway. The influx of foreign aircraft into the Libyan conflict has changed the military balance for both sides. But momentum is now with forces loyal to the internationally recognised government in Tripoli, whose success has come with the extensive help of Turkey's government, as its forces take back control of most of Western Libya. Alex Gatopoulos, Al Jazeera.